Pink sauce is just the gift that keeps on giving, and I don't mean in the way of foodborne illness. I mean this story just doesn't end. I think the story of pink sauce and the pink sauce lady, her name is Chef P, I think this will be taught in classrooms across the world for years to come as a how to start a business out of a biological weapon and then also how to ruin your business. Chef P has legitimately done everything wrong when it comes to being an entrepreneur. Every mistake you could make, she made, and then some. She invented new mistakes that the world didn't even know were possible, such as her initial food labels on the pink sauce having absolute gobbledygook on it, nonsense, just a, a catastrophe, really. And now we have a very sad update in this story. Uh, real quick, just to give you the lore breakdown in case anyone's forgotten, because I know it's been like eight months and on the internet, that is prehistoric. So maybe a lot of people don't remember this. But Pink Sauce was started on TikTok by a creator named Chef P. She made it in her kitchen and posted videos with it. It was just this vibrant pink Pepto-Bismol looking sauce that she started selling. And people went crazy for it. Everyone was buying it and she was shipping it from her house. And since she was shipping it from her house, she didn't take any real safety precautions with the food and the ingredients on her sauce contained things like raw honey and milk. And she was transporting it over state lines in hot temperatures. Meaning when it got to customers, it was vile, revolting, radioactive sludge. And people started posting videos of opening their pink sauce in excitement. And what they got was shit that looked like this. Looking like a bloated corpse out of a sarcophagus. Looking like some kind of festering scab. Chef P was basically Oppenheimer and this was her bomb. It was waging war on the gut, the tummies, of everyone who bought this. Because it wasn't safe to consume. It really wasn't. So she faced a lot of backlash. The internet started clowning on her. She even had a very famous speech that she gave on TikTok Live where she said, What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical supplies. And it only got worse from there. She eventually went on a talk show from a, a host named Karamo. And she confronted one of her critics, and it was a very sweet lady who made a TikTok a little concerned with the pink sauce because she found, like, glitter in it and all the things she was seeing. So she sent the pink sauce to a lab to be tested. And on the talk show, the two of them got together, and Chef P made herself look like the biggest possible asshole. She was unbelievably rude and disrespectful to that lady who was just testing the pink sauce to make sure it was safe. And that lady was extremely polite, extremely nice. And Chef P was just ruthless and mean and nasty. And it turned everyone even further against Chef P. But then out of nowhere with one of the most unexpected, shocking plot twists the world has ever seen since the Darth Vader, Luke, I am your father moment, it was revealed with a big statement that Pink Sauce had just been acquired by Dave's Gourmet, which is apparently a very reputable big brand that was taking Pink Sauce even amidst this massive disaster. Like, it was legitimately a danger to consume. Dave's Gourmet came in and said, We want it. So, Dave's Gourmet acquires Pink Sauce with, I imagine, a very hefty payday to Chef P. And they start producing Pink Sauce themselves in, in like an FDA-approved FDA facility. And they start selling Pink Sauce in 4,000-something Walmarts across the country. And based on everything Chef P was saying, sales were great. People were super excited. But... It doesn't seem like everything was all sunshine and rainbows and daisies because apparently that deal soured and Chef P has recently come forward with a GoFundMe alleging that Dave's Gourmet never actually paid her the royalty she was owed and it was actually a terrible deal. They were an awful, evil group. She never actually explicitly names Dave's Gourmet here, but that is the brand that acquired her sauce. So most people, myself included, believe that she's referring to them here. And it's become a very wild situation because she's saying that she is completely broke now. I went over most of this story on stream, so I'll show you those clips. But real quick, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that's been coming into the streams. I've been doing them on YouTube recently, and it's been amazing. I've been absolutely fucking loving the YouTube streams. So I just want to say huge thanks because it's been really hype. It's been so much fun. So I'm going to keep doing YouTube streams and uh, here's some clips from it. And then I want to go back in and talk about it a little bit more because I've read more into it now since the stream. Did you see the pink sauce lady made a GoFundMe? Matt just sent me that. I was going to read about that. The pink sauce lady is claiming that she is broke. I don't know how that's possible, considering she got a big payout from Dave's Gourmet or whatever it's called. 
Bill's sauces. I forgot. I think it's Dave's Gourmet. I think I got it right the first time. So I don't know how she could possibly be broke now. She's claiming it's a faulty deal, I guess. I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food. Veronica Chef P was all over social media last summer thanks to her viral pink sauce condiment. It was bottled botulism. And it did pop off. That, that much is true. The bubblegum-hued condiment was a concoction that Shaw devised in her kitchen while working as a private chef in Miami, often finished her TikTok videos by slathering whatever she cooked in the mystery pink sauce. Although Shaw never revealed the sauce's ingredients, her followers demanded it. So she began selling the sauce for $20 a bottle, which quickly sold out. As orders quickly came in, the backlash followed. Customer complaints about inadequate food packaging and alleged contamination began to damper the hype around the viral sauce. What an understatement. She was shipping biological weapons. All of the ingredients that were listed on there, minus the chemical X of her secret formula, were all highly insufficient for long-distance trans transportation in hot temperatures. It, it was a disaster. Truly. Which I think helped propel it into the mainstream even more. The most significant blow was when Shaw went live to address followers, questioning if her sauce was FDA approved. She responded, What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. In January 2023, Delish announced that Shaw had partnered with Dave's Gourmet. The condiment company added pink sauce to its portfolio, selling it on Walmart.com and in 4,000 locations nationwide until July. Which was a shocking development. Because again, this got so big because it was basically shipping poison. It'd be great for assassinations, but as for actual sauce, probably not wonderful. We actually did buy a bottle of it in order to see how yucky it would be. Not to taste it, but to like put it to the test, like take a Geiger counter to it, see how radioactive it is, see if it could be used to take the paint off of one of our cars due to like really high acidity or something. See if it could replace acetone. But we never ended up doing it. On August 17th, Shaw took to her Instagram announcing the launch of her GoFundMe page and asking for financial assistance. She alleged that a partnership left her in financial ruin. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth toward my dreams to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take, uh, trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I don't know enough about Dave's Gourmet, but there are tons of shady companies that'll take advantage of young people selling shit, give them the worst deals ever. She then claims that she was silenced and sabotaged. She does not name said company in the video or social media, and she wrote that it has been difficult for her to care for and feed her children. I don't know how that's possible, though. Even if she did get the worst deal of all time from Dave's Gourmet, and I'm assuming that's the company she's talking about because that's the one that bought her pink sauce concoction, that that alchemy, I, I, I don't know how she would lose all of her money on it considering Dave's Gourmet picked up all of the production costs. And it's not like it takes a lot of money to go live on TikTok and say, hey, my sauce is in Walmart. So how the fuck did she lose all of her money? I don't see where it goes here. Unless there's like some clause in the deal she signed with Dave's where he has access to her bank account or something. <clears throat> I work at Walmart and they advertise that her sauce was in the store. Yeah, no, it had a big marketing push when it made it to Walmart. Which is why I'm saying, again, like, it's not like she paid for that. That would have absolutely been on Dave's Gourmet. So I don't know how the fuck she lost all of her money in this bad deal. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. But I just don't know what marketing expenses she endured. Again, it's, it's completely free to go live on TikTok or post Instagram videos about your sauce. Cost no money. I've been silenced and financially sabotaged. I'm a single mom and do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I'm currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. 
They're refusing to pay me the royalty that's owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. Horrible story to hear. Assuming it's all true, that's awful. Sorry to hear that, Chef P. She got a big payday in order to just sign with Dave's Gourmet. How the fuck did it all fizzle up? Whoa, she wants 100k. Oh, I didn't even notice that! Wait, what? 921 raised of 100k goal. Holy shit. So after doing a little more super sleuthing in my intense investigation and research on this topic, I have come to the enlightening conclusion that this shit is not adding up. I still cannot figure out where all of the money went. I don't know how she ended up completely broke, allegedly. Like, I don't know how that happened, because from everything I've read here, she was no longer footing the bill for the production of Pink Sauce. It was now completely off of her plate, so that financial burden was eased thanks to the Dave Gourmet acquisition. And all of the marketing she was doing was Instagram posts and TikToks. That's free. That costs no money. So I don't know how she lost all of her money in this Dave's Gourmet deal. Now, I do have no doubt that there is a chance it was a very predatory, very shady, disgusting contract because that does happen in the industry, across every industry. There's tons of evil corporations that are going to swoop in and try and take advantage of people that don't have a team behind them that'll advise them on, you know, looking over the contract and all of that. And it seems like she didn't have anyone look over the contract. So maybe she did really get taken advantage of here and exploited by Dave's Gourmet. But all of that would be off of the sauce itself, like off of its profits. I don't think that would come from her bank. Like, I don't see how Dave's Gourmet contract could somehow take money away from her. It would only just not be paying her what she's owed. Which is something she does explicitly say, that Dave's Gourmet hasn't paid her what she's owed in the form of, like, the royalties from the profits of Pink Sauce. But I just, I don't see how this could have, like, drained all of her finances and left her in such a desperate, sad position. Like, this is awful to read about. I just don't know how the contract could have done that. Unless the contract is on, like, some next-level evil shit where Chef P agreed to pay for everything involving Pink Sauce and Dave's Gourmet just put it in Walmart or something. But that'd be the worst contract of all time, and I don't think anyone would have ever signed that. So I, I don't think that's the case. It is important to note that Chef P does have a history of lying. She lied about everything in regards to Pink Sauce from the very beginning. She was lying out of her ass on the talk show, so... A lot of people aren't really even believing a lot of what she's claiming here because of her history of lying about everything. So the whole situation is just horrible. And another thing worth consideration as a possibility is maybe Chef P is just a little off on how well Pink Sauce is performing. It has been a long time since anyone has given a shit about Pink Sauce. No one's fucking uttered a peep about Pink Sauce in like eight months. And it was a product that was entirely hype driven. People were curious and wanted to try it, and then they tried it, maybe they got violently ill perhaps, you know, or just extremely scared to consume it, so obviously they're not going to try it again. So it being in Walmart doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to do well by default. It was always ever just a wacky product that people would try as a meme or just out of pure morbid curiosity. So I think there's a very good chance that Pink Sauce is just actually not selling at all, and Chef P thinks that it is and thinks that she's owed money that this pink sauce is just actually not making. So maybe Dave's Gourmet has no profits to even share with Chef P as part of their contract because everyone's lost interest in it. I, I don't know. This whole situation is very odd and peculiar, and I just wanted to go over it. So yeah, anyway, that's about it. See ya.